Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today's relaxing game is Critter Cove. We're taking a look at the beta gameplay of this cozy life sim that, to be quite honest, I knew nothing about until recently. I mean, I had this on my wish list and I just hadn't given it any thought. And then lo and behold, I find out that there is a playtest beta version and I'm so excited right away. Look at these graphics. The water is so pretty. I cannot wait to see what is in store for us in Critter Cove. Let's go. Looks like we are going to begin with being able to customize our character. Wow, there are quite a few options here. Oh my gosh, I can be a cat or a fox, a tiger. This is so cool. A computer monitor, a TV. I'm not sure what that is. Look at all of these options. We can be animals or a human, a bald human. I'm assuming we can get hair down here somewhere. And oh my gosh, what are these horns? What? Hair? Oh my gosh. So many options. This is body shape. <laughs> oh, a cat. I've got to be some sort of animal, guys. A bunny? Is there a bunny? I don't see a bunny. What should we go with? I'm kind of digging this. Is this a fox, I assume? And you can change the colors? Oh my goodness. I'm going to spend like a half hour on this. So we're going to fast forward and I will show you what my end result is. Okay, I think I finally have my character completed. We have a beautiful hot pink fox with some minty turquoise eyes and accent colors. I can't quite figure out how to change the clothing. I'm thinking maybe we do that in the game, but I'm really digging all of these options we had to create the character. That's super cool. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to change this at a later time, but this is just the beta, so it's okay. We're just going to accept this. I am cool with it, and then we are going to name her. We're gonna call them Buckeye Bunny. Here we go. Anchor said, shiver me timbers. What an amazing and exciting journey that was. We will be lucky to make it here in one piece. Judging by me ship sitting at the bottom of the harbor, not a moment too soon either. Guess in the sea be having to wait another day to claim the old anchor. <laughs> Why don't you go speak with that fellow that hired us, Renard be his name. I'll be making sure the poor office be in order. Okay, we'll do that. We have to go and find Renard. Look at this world, what? Oh my gosh, the graphics. Look at that water. Wait, what is that under the water? Can we swim? Can we swim? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, we can swim. Can we dive? Shut up. Look at this. Holy moly, I was not expecting this. It is gorgeous. I want to go here. I want to go here on vacation. Better yet, I want to live here. Is this our new island? Do we get to live here? What is this back there? Is that more land? Do we get to explore? Can I go swim out there? What is there to find down here in the ocean? What, there's a little sea creature. What is that? And fish? Can we fish? Look at that. Holy moly. Are these sea turtles? Oh, they're not sea turtles. Ocean current is too strong. Oh, maybe I can't go out there. Wow. Oh no, I'm about dead. I think I'm about dead. Oh no, swim, swim little fox. Whew, that was close. <laughs> Apparently I can't hold my breath forever. I'm sorry, I got distracted by the beautiful ocean life. There are bubbles coming from down here. I was supposed to do something, wasn't I? I totally forgot all about it. Requires wrench? 
can I collect this stuff? Are these my resources in the ocean? Oh my gosh. You know what this reminds me of, these graphics? This reminds me of Sea of Thieves. Have you ever played Sea of Thieves? These cartoony graphics, the realistic water. Wow. Okay, pick up. I can pick this up. It's wood. Wood. What was I supposed to do? I totally forgot. Meet somebody. Renard? Was that his name? I just got distracted by something shiny, literally. Is this? No, that's the little sharky dude that we were just speaking with. I think we need to go and find somebody else. I guess we'll go into the town. Look at these houses. This is so cute. But everything is all boarded up and disheveled. Where is everybody? There's nobody here except for this guy. Is this who we need to speak with? Hello, this is Renard. Yes, this is who we were supposed to talk with. I see you finally arrived. Glad to see Anger's curse didn't end you. I'm Renard, mastermind behind this little venture. I also run the local junk shop. You need some extra salvage? Take a look. I might have what you need. And you must be Buckeye Bunny. I can tell by looking at you that you're just what's needed. You're also the only one who answered the ad. So I answered an advertisement to help, to help this Critter Cove Island. It's your job to fix it up all nice like, make it a place people can be proud of. And if we make a bit of coin along the way, who can blame us? Hmm, but first things first, we need to get your living arrangement sorted. Can't have you sleeping on the beach now, can we? Actually, I wouldn't mind that, except for the sand fleas. Fortunately, Renard has you covered. Take this mostly official Critter Cove house deed and pin it to the door of any of these vacants you see. Doesn't matter which, your choice. I get to pick my house? Once that's all done, nice and legal-like, you'll need to fix it up, but that shouldn't be an issue for a resourceful gal such as yourself. Oh, by the way, there are a couple other folks who arrived just before you did. Might be a good idea to stop in and say hi, since you're already out looking for a house anyway. They each took to living on the beach. One is on the west, one on the east. The island isn't that big. You shouldn't have trouble finding them. All right, so the little mouse or rat or whatever he is over here just gave us a deed to whichever house we choose. We get to apparently look at all these boarded up houses. I can see the potential. And we need to pick ourselves a fixer upper. <laughs> Where do we want to live? I love that you get to choose it. I love you don't have to build it from scratch. I'm guessing that wherever we see these little arrows, Oh yeah, it says pin to door. We get to pick which one of these we want to live in. Is there a map? M? Yeah, there is a map. We have a villager who lives on the east and one who lives on the west. It says meet Sammy, meet Pokey. I don't know. Where do we want to live? I feel like we need to explore the town first before we make this decision. Show journal. Oh, I have a journal. Welcome to Critter Cove. These are my quests that I have. I have to meet Pokey and Sammy. I think those are the residents, the villagers who just moved here and are living on the beach. What else do we have here? Oh, this is our inventory. Here are my clothes. Can I have new clothes? Um, oh, <laughs> oh gosh, don't look. Don't look, don't look, don't look. <laughs> Put it back on. Okay, so apparently if, um, the nude beach life is your cup of tea, you can live that here. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> we'll just keep our clothes on for right now. This is a family friendly channel for the most part. And uh, here it looks like we have the people whom we have met so far and little hearts starting to fill in. Happiness meters, their favorite color. Good to know. And crafting, we have crafting. We can craft a campfire in a tent. I'm guessing we're going to be learning more things to craft here. And what are these? Blueprints. Oh my gosh. Are these all of the things we're going to learn to craft? Wow. Oh my gosh. That is a lot of items. Okay. Well, let's continue to walk around here. Oh, gather. I just picked up a bunch of rusty cans and it says I got trash and glass. <laughs> I'm supposed to clean up this town and make it look pretty again. 
But right now I need to find a place to live and then I have to meet my new neighbors. I don't know where I want to live. I kind of like the beach, but I'm not sure if this is an option. I'm just going to keep picking up this stuff. Who is this guy? Is this the new villager? Talk. Copper bottom. <laughs> Snape's copper bottom. Um, okay. I don't think that's the villager we're supposed to talk to. <laughs> what is this? Do we have a... Wait a minute. A shipwreck. There's a shipwreck. Look at the map. Wait a minute. Can I zoom in? Can I zoom in? There is a shipwreck here. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. I'm guessing there are more items to be salvaged in here. Yeah, it looks like it. But I really don't want to drown like I almost did before. <laughs> so let's try to focus. I have a hard time focusing. As you can tell. Can we jump? We can. Can I jump up these rocks? We need to explore all the housing options. I feel like these kind of remind me of SpongeBob's pineapple house. You know how SpongeBob has all those cool houses under the sea in Bikini Bottom? I feel like that's what these look like. They're just above the sea. I don't think I can live here. It doesn't give me the option. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Are these umbrellas with the lights? This is so pretty. Oh, I can live there. Do I want to live here? I feel like this is really cool, but it's kind of in the thick of it. I kind of prefer to be a little bit more on my own. Is this a ship? It looks like a ship. Look at this. Oh, I'd love to live here. Can I live here? Requires an axe. I don't think I can live here. Do we have a view? Oh, look at this. <gasps> look at... It looks like there's so many things out there in the ocean to explore. I see something floating out there. In a lighthouse? <gasps> oh, what? What? There's a tent down here. Is this one of the villagers? Pick up some stones. Read. It says, I'm not home right now. Pokey. So, Pokey lives here. Wait, is this Pokey? Hello? Pokey? Pokey is a person? No? Pokey's a... Is this a lizard? A bearded dragon? I don't know what... Pokey says... Wow, Pokey's yelling at me. Don't you know it's rude to butt your nose into someone else's business? Who are you anyways? Um, I'm not going to be rude. <laughs> We're going to go with the play option. Buckeye Bunny. Oh, that new sailor woman? You're not what I expected. You didn't expect a fox, did you? <laughs> I always heard sailors were supposed to be tough and capable looking. Ouch! Man, Pokey. I'm Pokey, by the way, and just about the only adult on this whole island. Now, please don't let me keep you from a busy day of picking up every random piece of trash you see. Good day, Buckeye Bunny. Wow. <laughs> That guy was so welcoming. Maybe I want to put a little bit of space between my house and his. Oh, I can gather these. Are these berries? Blush berry. Do you think we can eat these? If you look on the top bar, I have a heart meter and it is not even half full. I'm going to try to press the one key. Oh, I can eat oh. them. <laughs> Did that help? Oh, no, it didn't. Oh. You know what? I don't know how to improve my heart meter. Was it like that when I got here? <laughs> Requires a shovel. Look in the distance. Do you guys see that? There is clearly more land. There is something big out there. I can't tell what it is. Is it a mirage? Or is it actually there? How about this one right here? We're kind of on the edge. We're by the ocean. We have an ocean view property here. And... I think I kind of like this. I can see the potential in this fixer-upper. We're not too close to anyone. We are close to the rat's general store over there, right? I think this is the one. It's speaking to me. It sparks joy. We're going to pin our deed to the door. Fixing my house. Home sweet home complete. 
No journal. What do we have to do next? I found the perfect spot for my new home, but it's going to need a little work before it's ready for me to move in. I'll need to fill the box that appeared out front with some resources in order to complete repairs on my house. All right, well, there we got the wood. We just need one more rock. One more rock. That's pretty cheap. That's cheap rent. I'm down for it. Okay, we need some rocks. Do we see any rocks? Let's go this way. We have not been out here yet. Look at this little... Are these bird signs? Is this like a little tiki bar? And look at the island out there. You see that? We got our stones. We can go and complete our house. However, I would like to go and meet this person. I think we have a cat. Please be nice. Please be nice. Sammy! Hmm. Oh, hello. You're new. I'm Sammy. I'm pretty new here, too. My name is Buckeye Bunny. You have no idea how nice it is to meet you, Buckeye Bunny. I was starting to think I was the only one dumb enough to get tricked into moving here. Wait a minute. What's so bad about being here? The brochure said a tropical paradise awaits. It didn't say anything about living in a ratty tent on a beach. <laughs> I thought I'd be stuck on this beach forever, but you look like someone who's got it all figured out. Maybe we'll finally start seeing some progress, you know. I'm really glad I met you. If there's anything I can do to help, just let me know. Will do, Sammy. So we have Sammy and Pokey. Pokey is rude, but Sammy's pretty cool. And then there's that robot looking thing called Copper Bottom. <laughs> well, we have all of our stones. I could keep picking up all this wood. I'll probably need it. But I think that we probably ought to go and finish our house. What is that? Do you guys see that? I really want to go explore it. I just want to go explore in the ocean. Am I in the water? I feel like the animations, they're a little bit strange in the water. Can I go in here? Oh, I can. What is this? Oh, we found a cave. Should I be in here? Probably not, but we're gonna go anyhow. Do I need tools? Yes. I need a wrench. What is in there? We'll have to come back later and find out what they are. Right now, let's go and fix up our house. We're back at our house. Let's finish our donations. We need one more stone. We have completed it. Do we get a house now? Oh, we do. Whoa. Right before our eyes, our house is being finished. Look, it's cute. I told you it had promise. Talk to Renard, it says. Look at the shutter. Can I? Oh, we can go in. Oh, I have a bed. I can sleep. What are these? Storage trunk. It's a trunk. Okay. So we have storage chests and a bed and a little table and a candle. Okay, that's the basics. That's all I need. Talk to Renard. Here he is. I see you finally figured out your living situation. Capital? What? <laughs> this is a very fine home, but they never come well furnished. Hmm, I've got it covered. You need a housewarming gift, free of charge, of course. Let's call it a down payment on future services rendered. <laughs> okay. Now let me see. Ah, here we go. Just the thing to make a house feel more homey. A tiny little chair, the size for a mouse. Thanks. There's the chair. How do I take the inventory out and put it? Oh, like that. Where should I put this chair? This is a tiny little chair. Well, okay, <laughs> let's set it there. <laughs> ah, Buckeye Bunny, so good of you to stop by. We've much to do and it never seems like there are enough hours in the day. We need to start fixing up this town, but first, I need you to find our missing handy bot, Copper Bottom. Oh, Copper Bottom, I know where he is. He is down by the ocean. He was supposed to be picking up salvage for the workshop down at the beach, but he probably got himself wet again. I always tell him to avoid the water sea, but uh, he just can't help himself. 
you're going to need this oil can when you find him. Just give him a squirt or two of that and he'll be 100% again. All right, I need to go and squirt copper bottom. <laughs> okay, give him a hand when you get him unstuck. He's way behind on getting the workshop fixed. Off you go, no dawdling, mind you. The sooner you find copper bottom, the sooner we'll have a functional workshop. So it seems I have a workshop to go and fix. Maybe that's how I get tools. Here you go. Please, an oil can. Renard, hurry. Use oil can. Here you go, copper bottom. Squirt, 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 squirt. <laughs> Happy mode activated. All joints appear to be functional again. This unit thanks the meat, the meat person for your assistance. Did he call me a meat person? <laughs> Oh my gosh. It is customary to exchange information on meeting a new being. This unit is autonomous worker in construction unit number 2347-PJF5. But since your meat brain does not perform at optimum efficiency, you may refer to this unit as copper bottom. I'm a meat person with a meat brain. Okay, here's a response. What do you mean by meat person? Confusion mode activated. Are you not a person made of meat substances? Well, I mean, you do have a point. This unit did not mean to offend. If you inform this unit of your designation, this unit shall make a note of that. My name is Buckeye Bunny. Now that information has been exchanged, this unit understands it is traditional to supply a gift to show gratitude for assistance. Since meat persons have soft, fleshy hands inadequate for ripping metal apart, this unit will supply Buckeye Bunny with a blueprint for an artificial hand to supplement your design flaw. <laughs> Jeez. So far, two of these people have insulted me. We're just going to look past it because this place is so pretty. Use the blueprint to learn it, then search the area and collect the required resources. Okay, so we get to hunt for junk. I'm down. Finally, assemble resources to make a wrench. Yes, I need a wrench. Buckeye Bunny will find many uses for a wrench. Oh, you bet your sweet bippy I will, Copper Bottom. I learned a blueprint, a recipe. I can make a wrench now. Wait, can I just make this from my pocket? What did he say, K? Yes, okay. I get it now. So this just opened my inventory area and then it looks like a, a toilet. Or I think it's supposed to be an anvil and a hammer, but it kind of looks like a toilet. <laughs> Look at that icon. <laughs> um, I do see basic wrench on the list now. It says I need one metal and two wood. I have all of that. And here is our craft button. Oh, we're making it. I got me a wrench. Is it a craftsman? Look at me. I'm using my wrench. Look at me. The animations crack me up. Greeting mode activated. Greetings again, meet person Buckeye Bunny. This unit is pleased to see you have not expired since our last interaction. This unit is experiencing difficulty. Someone has stacked these wooden barricades against the workshop in a most illogical fashion. This is preventing access to the building. This unit is unable to effect repairs on the workshop until these barricades have been removed. All right, you need me to assist you. Yes, I have soft fleshy hands <laughs> that are ill-suited for chopping hardwood structures. Are you going to give me something to chop the wood? Yes, you're going to give me knowledge on how to form an artificial chopping limb. Let's see if we can craft an ax. We have all of the materials. Here we go, our chopping limb. It's our artificial chopping limb. Let's go. Um, number three, here's my ax. Am I supposed to, yes. There's barricades all around the workshop. All right, I think I got them all. A functional workshop is necessary to perform repairs on the rest of the town's structures. Most of the repairs have been completed, but additional resources are needed in order to finish construction. This unit requires your assistance in procuring the missing resources. Some of the necessary resources are located under the water. Yay! Actually, I really want to go under the water copper bottom. It's all good, but maybe I'll wait until it's not dark out, if you don't mind. 
Your meat skin is impervious to rust, so collecting what is needed should pose little issue for you. I love that he calls me meat person. That's hilarious. Unless you run out of air and then you will expire, this unit recommends you avoid that. A container will be provided to deposit the supplies needed to repair the workshop. Please place what supplies you find within that container. I have metal. I have that. Done. Oh my gosh, I have it all. Wood and metal. Bam. Completed. Look at what the meat person did. Copper bottom. Oh, it's under construction. The supplied resources are acceptable. This unit will now finish the construction of the workshop. Return at a later time when the construction of the workshop has been completed. All right, so that's going to take a little bit of time, but we did it. Oh, and there, let's see if, is Pokey going to be mean to us again? Hey, Buckeye Bunny, you're just who I was hoping to run into. I found something unusual on the beach and immediately thought of you. Thanks. It's a bottle, but I'm pretty sure that it's got something inside of it. And there's no way I'm touching that thing. Who knows where it's been? You're always scrounging around, touching everything with your dirty little hands. So I figured an old grimy bottle laying on the beach would be right up your alley. <laughs> Follow me and I'll show you right where it is. Don't lollygag. Wow. Lizard dude is sassy. I kind of like it. Where are we going? I'm supposed to follow this guy. I don't know if I trust you, so... Is this it? Yeah, okay. I'll take the dirty bottle. Oh, is this a treasure map? I found a treasure map? Wow, that is a genuine treasure map. Yeah, sorry you gave that bottle away now, aren't you, Pokey? I bet if you follow it, you'll find something cool. That's how treasure maps work. Find where X marks the spot and dig. You're going to need something to dig with though. Don't look at me. Do I look like I'm made of shovels or something? Well, <laughs> now that you mention it, Pokey. Mm. Go try Anchor. There's probably no one on this whole island who's dug up more treasure than that old shark. Let's go to bed. And then tomorrow we will go see the shark and see if the workshop is done. Sleep. Short nap, long nap, sleep until morning. Yes, yeah, sleep until morning. And we have our health bars filled back up. It is now 6 a.m. Let's go see Sharky. I don't know where the shark is. I need a shovel. Hello. Oh, here he is. All right. Anchor. Oh, hey there, Captain Buckeye Bunny. What can old Anchor be doing for you? I found a treasure map. Anchor here has kindly offered to help us learn how to make a shovel and check out our new shovel recipe. We need metal and wood. We have enough of both so we can make a shovel. It's so tiny, that's hilarious. Over here somewhere. Oh, we got some more berries. What are these? Coconuts? Drumsticks? Oh, wait, these are drumstick plants. That is so funny. That's a drumstick stock. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, it should be right here somewhere, right? Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. Open. What do we have in our treasure? Was it a blueprint? A cooking station. I learned a new recipe. Okay. And we have a bathtub over here. Can I? Oh, I can. I just picked up a bathtub. Just random bathtub floating around on the beach. There are so many houses. Are more villagers going to come here? Once we get the town fixed up. That's what I want to know. Because that would be really cool. Chop. I can chop this down. Oh. Researching square wood planter. Wait. And a sea corn. I just got a sea corn and a planter. Do you think that whatever I chop... My character is going to research. Can I jump on these umbrellas? Oh, I can. They're so colorful. I love this. Wait, photo op. It's so pretty. I love the colors. It is oversaturated. I don't care. I love it. I don't want to talk to you. You're rude. Um, I need to go this direction, I think. I don't really know where I'm going. I'm just... I'm just exploring. Oh. Oh, wow. That looks so cool. 
This has like steampunk vibes, right? It will be necessary to outfit the workshop with crafting stations needed to process raw materials into usable materials. Fortunately, an engineer work table comes standard in all autonomous worker unit built workshops and comes preloaded with several important blueprints. Please take a moment to familiarize yourself with its operation. The only difficulty this unit can detect is finding the required furnace. I need to complete the blueprint. It is suggested that I search the shipwrecks near the coast. If you look on our map, yeah. There, I mean, there's one here, and I don't know, that looks like a dive site. So I think this is probably where we are supposed to be. We just need to search around for, what is that? I found a rusty anchor. <laughs> I love the sound effects. This looks like it could be a furnace, right? It looks sort of like a steam engine, yes. No oh, motor. Okay, that might not have been the furnace. Oh my gosh, is that a sea turtle? Oh, it is. Can we ride them? That's so neat. Look at that. Hello, Mr. Sea Turtle. Do you happen to know where the furnace is? There it is. Oh my gosh, this was not the shipwreck I was thinking it was gonna be in. We found the furnace. Finally, holy moly. That was an ordeal, but we found it. All right. Now, if we can find this in our inventory, maybe? There it is. We are going to rotate it and I think it goes this way. How about right here? That looks like a good spot for it. This unit has detected Buckeye Bunny has completed the task of placing a simple forge in the workshop area. Well done. We must now test to see if the simple forge is functioning correctly. Please proceed to use the machine to create one metal bar. Metal bar, I just need metal, I have that. Confirm. It just takes 20 seconds. Oh, that's so cute. So we're gonna fill this workshop with Machines, let's see what else we can make. A cutter, this is a metal shop. A, and well, we have a stone kiln too. Cooking station, simple motor, a tap, used to tap barrels, a filter. What are we going to be making? This is really cool. Oh dear, so we need to find the fabricator blueprint. Oh, I know, he wants me to go in an underwater cave. I know where that is. Let's see if we can go in that cave now that we have some tools and find our fabricator blueprint or the actual fabricator. I don't really know exactly what we need, but I know where it is. I know where it is. Oh, and I think we need to cut through this now, which I can do since I have my trusty wrench. Oh, wait. This is it. We have a treasure. This has to be it. This is our blueprint. No, oh, I found sweatpants. Wait a minute. Is this not the right spot? Oh, I am, I am in this. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right. This is really cool. Learn. What am I learning? Hieroglyphics? Oh, that was it. That was the recipe. The recipe was in the hieroglyphics. That's actually kind of cool. That is not what I was expecting, but I would like to put on my new sweatpants. Can I do that? <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know if I like them or not. Can we take those up? Oh, okay. It's that kind of beach now. I'm down for it. I mean, what is this? Don't tell me this was here all along. Oh my gosh. Here's another one of these furnaces. It was right here. I was just blind as a bat. All right. We're just gonna pretend we didn't find that so easily. Let's put our fabricator right here by our, what was that thing again? I don't know. <laughs> We've got lots of machinery now. And I think this is a very good place to stop for today. 
think we got a lot accomplished today. We have our house that we fixed up. We explored the island. We met the two residents, one of which is quite rude, but we're just going to ignore that for now. And we helped Copperbottom. We squirted our oil on him and then helped him repair this lovely workshop. And we have our machinery in place so that we can scrap the metal all around here, turn it into metal bars, and then fabricate those metal bars into parts. What are we gonna use with those parts? What are we gonna build? I don't know. Could it be something to get around? Because there are things, there are secrets. You see those secrets out there? I mean, you can sort of see what those secrets are. We've got an island out there. We've got a shipwreck and I cannot get to those because the currents are too strong. Critter Cove is impressing me so far. And this is only the beta. I should have mentioned this earlier, but Critter Cove is set to come out on Steam in early access very shortly, quarter four of this year. So within the next couple months, and then it is going to release on PlayStation and Xbox, I believe in 2024, exactly when in 2024, I don't know. But this is a very cute life simulator with lots to do, very relaxing, not boring at all. The graphics are just so charming, super cute. And I'm very excited to do some more undersea exploring and to fix up our island and invite more people to move here. I think that's what's going to happen. And that's really cool. If you would like to hop along with me on other cozy adventures, please consider subscribing to the channel. And I thank you for joining me on this journey through the cozy Critter Cove. <laughs>